What is up guys? Today I'm going to bring you a tutorial for the map transit on how to get some higher rounds, hopefully. Um, what you want to do once you get the power on is you want to go down into Pack-a-Punch and have two guys facing one way, two guys facing the other way, and it works out really well. The zombies will generally drop enough perks that you should be able to stay down there as long as you have someone with a ray gun and someone with a high ammo count gun like the RPD or the Warhammer. Um, and uh, this next clip I'm showing you the uh, the new millimeter sight which is kinda cool if you pack a punch your gun uh, a couple times uh, you can get different sights on your guns and uh, it's really cool that you can see through the walls and uh, see the zombies coming down at you or uh, wherever you are and, uh, another useful tool to have, if, if you can get some monkeys, that'll help a lot when you're trying to reload uh, RPD. Um, as many perks as you can get too is a, a big help. But you should be able to hold off downstairs at the Pack-a-Punch for quite a while. And if you have a crawler down there, somebody can run out and go roll the box or go get money out of the bank. Um, they can do all sorts of things as long as somebody keeps a crawler down there. Now the crawler crawls out the round might possibly end. Um, I haven't played enough yet to figure out if that's the reason why they keep dying. But I'm under the assumption that if they crawl out of Pack-a-Punch, they will die and the round will start. So you need to be careful if you uh, have a teammate that's gonna go to the bathroom or you know, go get something to eat real quick while they're watching the crawler. Alright, now we're on round 25 here, I believe. And uh, I'm just using the RPD. And the, the good thing about the RPD is it, it gives you lots and lots of points, and you can go put them in the bank. And uh, for anybody that doesn't know, the bank is uh, a really neat feature on this Black Ops 2. Um, you can put money in, and then later on, in a different game, you can pull money out. So, say you want to put in $10,000 now, and play a different game later. You can put in 10000 20000 and then come back and get it later. It costs 100 points per $1,000 you put in. But it's worth it. I mean, if you play a lot of zombies, it's definitely worth it, guys. Well, I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the small clips of our gameplay here. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a like and uh, comment if you like and uh, subscribe. behind the barn. I don't I'm like wait away from the barn or something, you know? Somebody tell me something. No, I'm down again. I'm trying to act the question like before we get to the barn, what's what's behind me? Nature's got nothing to do with that one. 